All right, the uh, next shape that we're going to tackle is going to be pretty big, and it's going to attach to what we just looked at for the NURBS section right in through here. We're going to be modeling this whole yellow section that comes right in through here for this, okay? Um, you can see if we take a look at the reference on this, uh, it's quite interesting for what we're going to have to do for this. We've got some like little scallop kind of cutout thing here. We've got to uh, take into account this kind of shape that's uh, been kind of uh, cut out of this piece and through here. If you take a look at the bottom of that, you can see some of that scallop that's uh, been cut in through there. And so um, just looking at the different reference, like I said, it's uh, going to be a challenging shape to make. So let's hop on over to Maya and start taking a look at what we can build. So. I already built this section for the uh, the silver part of the gun and so we've got this topology and we're going to have to uh, do some work to kind of match some of that that's going on for that as well. Um, so I think I'm going to start with uh, the uh, create polygon tool that they have. And that exists up here in the uh, mesh tools and we can say create polygon tool and uh, this tool just lets you kind of uh, draw out point 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 and you can just start making geometry that way so I'm just gonna click point point I'm gonna get fairly close to um, the surfaces that we've already made so we've got something like this here it's gonna go to the corner there for that and I'm going to go all the way across here for this and go down here and um, I know there's a, a kind of a shape change in through there so I'm going to kind of try to respect that a little bit and I'm going to come down in through here and I'm not going to match exactly point for point exactly what's going on. Um, like I said, I'm just going to try to get somewhat close, and if we add more geometry later, that's no big deal. So I got something here, and I think that looks pretty good. So that is going to generate um, this the shape that we have for this. Now I've been using um, a material I know we looked at earlier in the video if you right click on here you can assign a new material you can assign an existing one I made a blend material but because I was rendering an Arnold I just created um, an AI standard shader and uh, been assigning things uh, that so it's got a very similar feel to the uh, the NURBS I just kinda like the way that it uh, rendered a little better so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece and I'm going to extrude it and I'm going to take the face on there. So you hit F11 or you right click and say face. And you can shift right click and say extrude face. And I'm going to pull that out to match about and through here. So I'll hold down V and I can actually snap it to like a point and through there. Just like that. And uh, there we go for that. Um, so I can select this inner part and delete that and get rid of it. Now, if we wanted to start to mirror this across, I'm just going to delete history, Alt Shift D, and then we can take this and uh, mirror that across. Let's take a look at the options for that and make sure I'm going to go the X and go the negative direction like that and telling it to uh, merge everything together. Now, uh, the other thing is I know that I don't necessarily need these faces anymore because I would it really depends. I, I, I guess um, if I had this open, I could have this all these verts and they could snap to the edge of uh, this piece here. So, I mean, I don't know. I could I could leave it. I could uh, get rid of it. It doesn't uh, really matter right now at this point. So I, I guess I'll just leave it alone for just right now. And if I tap one, then we can see what we've got um, going on for the uh, base cage for all this and might as well just select all these pieces and tap one so I can see exactly what's going on with the polys for that. Now if we need to turn on 
wireframe on shaded you could do that if I tap one for this then I get back to what are we making uh, for just uh, polygons for that okay um, so the other thing is I'm gonna need to kind of get these points matching in through here and if I'm modeling half of it like this we can hold down control and shift right click and say symmetry and turn on symmetry and we could do that for world and now I should be moving in symmetry like that if you want to get to the options for that this way you can double click on here and you can say symmetry and you can turn on symmetry that way as well so however you want to do it um, so I'm gonna take that point hold down V and just snap here I can snap to that point and through there hold down V and snap here here like this and again this is just to get that the rough shape going and this is very similar to what we did with this big shape and through here we've got to um, we've got to get a rough shape going and once we have that then then we can refine this thing more okay and I think I'm gonna have it right there like that and then pull this up and out I think it's going to be pretty similar to where I was at before, but maybe take these points and drag them back this this way just a little. Now, um, because of what I've done with this uh, geometry, I'm going to select it, hit Control One, and try to just isolate that. That way, I can uh, basically take these points and then snap it here and there making sure I'm lining up everything correctly now we could have done this before we did the extrusion and we wouldn't have to do this work so it just kind of depends on how you're going about uh, things to create to create everything um, and I'm gonna just do a mirror on this just to make sure everything's nice and clean now it does look like I need to snap this forward a little bit like that okay that's looking pretty good uh, hit control one to bring everything back now I will need to um, attach to basically these points here on that and if you look at the reference, we do have, um, we got this point on here. Let's take a look where this kind of comes out and through here. And so maybe I can start to just do a little bit of multi cut and do a little bit on the shape for this. And I did notice uh, with this tool, uh, I had some issues with the. Um, with the symmetry so I can't cut directly in the model like I'd want to now it will let you drag from an edge to an edge with the symmetry turn on but you can see I'm getting some weird results like that so what I could do is just hold down and got to be in object mode control shift right click turn the symmetry off and then go to the multi cut tool this is where I'm gonna have to um, basically model one half and then mirror keep mirroring this uh, the results back so I'm just gonna do a little bit of geometry like this and then hit enter um, I could drag from let's see this point here and I'll give myself some geometry to work with Like this I'll hit enter for that so that's um, that's gonna give me a little bit more geometry to kind of play around with and what I was saying the scallop that's on this part right here dips in so we would need to take this and I can turn symmetry back on 
Uh, let's mirror it across. And I'll delete history. And now I can take these points and start to manipulate them and bring them in. I think that's pretty, pretty nice and straight um, right in through here. And then this is where we've got that kind of dip that comes in. Uh, now looking at this, uh, let's go back to the side view. That dip, most of it, it's kind of occurring right, right here in this point. It's a little bit past the trigger, maybe right in through here. So I can move those points and I've already got that kind of pulled in. You could put it on the scale tool and kind of pull those in just a little bit. Uh, so that's a possibility for you. So now I could take these points and I could start to snap them to the geometry that I've already made. Right in through here. Now here's where um, I wasn't super specific about what I was doing with the uh, geometry on here. Like it doesn't match up vert for vert for this. So I can just get it kind of roughly going get it roughed out and again it looks like I'm I'm okay and through here like that and like that um, but now I need to match the distance like coming back and through here so hold down V and kind of snap and through here now if you do look at the reference there is kind of a little bit of a lip on here so it's not going to be you know perfectly um, flush with this but we can start off flush and then we can move that geometry in a little later for some of that um, I am going to do this I'm gonna go ahead and select these faces and through here and I don't need that one I can get rid of them I think I've got some more right here so let's tap F11 for that and get rid of that one as well okay so now we're starting to get to starting to get closer I do have these um, I don't I don't need those um, I do have this uh, geometry that's on the back side of this right and through here and what I can do I know that this is gonna start to have some curvature to that so I could take these uh, verts and then just pull them out like this and you can see I'm starting to match that that shape a little better I'm not super worried about like what's going on with all the uh, plastic that comes here because we're gonna have to generate the shape and it's nice and thick and it's gonna kind of cover a lot of that up so um, yeah again I'm not super super concerned about that let's come here and sometimes it's easier to go to different views to grab some of the geo okay let's go to the side view and start to uh, fix this up just a little bit like this and I think we're we're getting pretty good there for a um, you know kind of a rough a rough shape of this thing and we will be using you know the smooth the smooth mesh preview on this and kind of building it that way um, but I think you want to get everything kind of nice and roughed out and kind of working first and I can start to control some of the curvature of this and how it flows up into here like that okay and let's see here for this I'm going to start to use the multi-cut tool and cut across and through here. I think that's the next step that I'll do for that. So object mode, you can right click on there and make sure in object mode, shift right click, multi-cut tool. 
and again I have symmetry on I'm going from edge to edge so I think I should I should be okay with symmetry if not we'll have to turn it off and keep working with the uh, mirroring across so I'm just tapping enter and then G maybe G for my last tool now we can hold down control and then I need a to match geo here 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 and here like that and that should be pretty easy after we have made the geometry we can just take the verts and snap that right in through there okay now I could attempt uh, to do the smooth mesh preview on this and see what it looks like I think um I think it, I know it's going to be uh, not not great so I can finish some of this off so I I know that the surface will behave a little better like that and I'll go from here to maybe here if you hold that control and shift sometimes when this works that's really great and it just goes straight across for us like that I'm gonna go um, across here and I'm gonna go across here like this so I think this is gonna be really ugly up and through here but maybe maybe we can get an idea of what this handle thing is gonna start to do and how it's gonna look back and through here so I think that's gonna be um, it's gonna be okay uh, let's take a look at this in through here so we would definitely need to do um, you know some work to our verts and kind of move them like this to kind of start matching that shape a little better there like that and I'm pulling that back through okay and looks looks pretty crazy for uh, you know when you go down to the base cage and take a look uh, at what that looks like okay So I think that's looking pretty good. Um, now, if you remember how, how to hold edges on here, this one would be not too difficult. We don't have to do this at this point, but um, if you wanted to hold that a little better for now, you could do something like this. And something here like that and I'm just holding down control and then clicking on there with the multi-cut tool and that'll basically give us like the insert edge loop functionality tap 3 for that and you can see how we're starting to harden uh, these edges and through there for that uh, particular part okay so um, now that I matched everything on here we could take this gun part and we'll drag a marquee around all that and tap three and then tap one for this okay so that's I know this is um, very very rough at this at this point but this is gonna you know this is gonna be the basis for us to generate that shape like that okay uh, I think the, the next part that I would want to try to get going is maybe in through here and actually I could do an extrusion on this so if we uh, shift right click with that face selected we can do extrude face and you can use the offset functionality to get this 
inset a little bit like this. And then I would want to come through here and start taking these points and start to match this coming in a bit more. So we can do this. Like that. And kind of match that. But that little move we did with the extrusion, that's um, that's basically building that geometry for us so we can start to have more geometry to manipulate and use. Okay. And um, the only part that I'm a little bit concerned about right now would be this this edge going from here to here like that. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that for now. And uh, let's take a look at this here real quick. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to use the multi-cut tool and cut across here like that. And then now I can start to take this geometry and start to manipulate it in some kind of way that makes sense. So if I'm looking down at this, this point was all already sticking out pretty far. So I'm just going to snap it back to about there. And it might have been nice to kind of do this work on this first before I did this um, so no big deal on that one thing I might be able to do is if I select this face and then grow the selection shift and the period key um, is flatten this all down like this and then we're kind of at an angle for this I'll go to the front view and move this out just kind of like this. Maybe I can get that angle a little better. Kind of like that. Um, I know we, okay. Um, so I kind of move that away from here. Let me do this real quick and I'll snap that point back like this. I know we had our um, kind of dip in through here. So I can scale that in again like this. And then basically I need to take this piece and definitely move it in like that and then fix up some of these points and through here I also have these points here like that I'll kind of move those in a little bit. And try to finesse this um, the shape a little better. And got an extra point, don't need that, so just delete it. Um, now what I could do to punch a hole out through this is if I took this and let's turn off symmetry. So shift uh, right click in there and turn off symmetry in object mode. I now I can take this one piece. Um, okay, symmetry is not on. There we go. Uh, select this one piece and then shift right click say extrude face and I can push this straight through like this. Okay, and then whenever I mirror it, it should cut it off and uh, weld that together for me, just like that, and make a hole. Okay, 
So we're definitely getting closer on the shape that we're making. Let me get rid of this real quick and near that across and tap three just to see what's going on. That's starting to kind of work in there and I know we've got tons of work uh, to do on this uh, this shape but before before I uh, start kind of really finessing this thing I really want to make sure I'm as close to the shape as possible um, just you know even with this um, little amount of geometry that we have because as soon as we start adding more geometry it just starts to be more points to kind of finesse and kind of keep track of and everything else like that so you definitely want to make sure your core shape is nice and sound before you move on to the next stage I think we're getting closer with some of that now it does look like I would need to Pull that point out just a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna go to the side view. Okay. And um, what I think I'm gonna do now is um, I'll put the put this into a time lapse mode just because you know it's gonna be just a little bit more of the same of this and. Um, my plan for this shape is obviously like anything that we're doing through here, we're going to carry out through the rest of the model. Um, and once this shape is really starting to work and then I'll go ahead and solidify some of these edges and reinforce some of these shapes and things like that and make sure everything works, uh, well, whenever we do the, uh, smooth mesh, uh, preview for this, this piece. And again, when I told you about this section in through here, there's a little bit of a bevel or a lip that goes all along through here. So I'll have to uh, kind of make sure all that's working as well. And um, yeah, I might, I might actually put some geo in through here. And I can do this just real quick. Cause I, I can tell that's a lot of, um, I'm asking the surface to do a lot in through here uh, just by having that one split through the middle. So we can do something like this. And then now if we tap three and kind of see what's going on with the surface, you can see this kind of jets out a little bit more. And now we can probably start to take uh, these points and pull them in a bit more and through here. So it's just, you're going to have to, um, you know, work with the surface. And then as you add more geometry and you do the smooth mesh preview, you're going to have to check your results and see, you know, how everything's kind of working. There we go. You can see how that, that shape's starting to be a bit better. Um, and, and again, to kind of hold those hard edges, we're, I'm, I'm not going to be too worried about it just right now. Just kind of give you a little demonstration of this, but I have to put some support there and maybe like here. And you can see how it's going to start to harden up that edge quite a bit on that part. Let me deselect this real quick and turn the wireframe on shaded off right there. And yeah, so then you can see how nice of a crisp edge that that's uh, starting to hold for that. So I'm going to undo those and yeah, again, just put this in a time lapse mode for you. <laughs> 